Hey guys! Alright, here goes nothing. Um, my name is Cody. Um, some may know me as Cody Cachet. I say that because I am not going to answer how big my t is in this video. So it's out there to find out. But finally, I'm just going to make a video talking about what it's like being a well-endowed guy. Um, I took a lot of questions down that people asked, and I'm just going to tackle them, okay? Uh, let, I'm just like, I want to have some fun today talking about this. I mean, it's something that people ask me all the time, so I figured why not just put it in a YouTube video, right? Put everything else in one. Here's a YouTube video just for this. So, um, we'll just start from the beginning. Um, how old were you when you discovered you were hung? Now, that's a really interesting question because when I discovered what hung was and like that it was a good thing and it wasn't a bad thing. I was at a much different age than when I realized that I had a big dick. I had a big dick for as long as I can remember. Ever since I was a little kid, like, I don't ever remember not having a big dick. I remember being made fun of by kids when I was younger for having a big dick. And then I'm trying, I think that um, there was a certain point in high school when I realized it was, or not high school, in middle school, where I realized it was a good thing, I kind of, um, I kind of I wouldn't say that I turned myself on, but I don't know. I saw in videos um, that I was seeing online because I was, like, curious about my sexuality and everything like that, that I kind of liked, um, I liked bigger guys, and it seemed like it was a good thing. Let me see if this, am I going to prefer the hat? I think we're going to do the hat. Um, so... Yeah. Um, in ninth grade, my ex-girlfriend took or found naked pictures of me that I had taken, and um, they kind of circulated around school, and then it kind of came out that I had like this like really big dick, and then that's when I knew that I had something there, like, like gold for me. I mean, I can say that I made a living off of having a big dick, and it is, it is not something I ever take for granted, and there's a question on here, would I change it? And the answer is no. I would never, ever change, change having a big dick. I would never trade it for an average one. I would never trade it for, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I, I, I love having it. <laughs> so, um... But yeah, when I was young, I was super, super self-conscious about it. I felt like an outcast. I felt like it was something that set me apart from other people. And I think that when you're a kid, anything that kind of makes you feel different is kind of like a bad thing. It's something that you're insecure about. So I was insecure about it for a very, very long time. And um, yeah, so when people started, when I started having sex, people started reacting to my size. Um, that was when it became bittersweet. Um, when I was... When I was trying to, um, kids are out there screaming. Every time I make a video, it's like an ongoing thing. It's so consistent. It's like, it's quiet out here all afternoon. And then as soon as I start making a video, people are outside. Um, um, but yeah, when I was starting to have sex, it was really a big problem because, uh, it was, in, it was more so intimidating. People like wouldn't even want it like around them. Like they were like, no way. They would look and they were like just intimidated and ran the other way. And I found it hard. Um, people like people put pleasure before pain, but a lot of times the pain comes before the pleasure when you're new to having sex and um, and you're moving from intercourse into sex, and it's hard for people to get past that. So um, especially if you're not a female, like if you're like a guy and you're trying to like learn how to have sex, you know, if it hurts, you know, some, your body's telling you something's wrong, and um, I had to realize that myself I went through that whole thing so um people now a guy I I've had sex with guys and girls and I I claim to be pansexual but um it's like I guess a variation of being bisexual but um I mostly have sex I I I, I hardly I've, I haven't had sex with women and since I've lost my virginity to a woman actually I've done stuff with girls and how a girl reacts to my penis and a guy reacts to my penis are totally different. A girl is not nearly as excited by it as a guy is. Um, the one girl that I was with had was, she wasn't really, she didn't really acknowledge it very much. She just kind of went with it. Um, every guy that I'm with has a reaction to my penis every single guy, every single time I send a picture of it on grind. I mean, I expect it. I kind of look forward to it. Um, there, there isn't a time when I send a picture on Grindr or 
show someone that they're not like, oh my god, what is that between your legs? Like, holy crap, that's not natural. What did you do? What did you take? What have you? How did you get that? Um, which, for the record, I um, I have taken things like um, extends and stuff like that, but none of that stuff actually is like making you bigger. It's increasing your natural size. It's enhancing what you already got. So. Um, the only the, I, I do know that there are types of procedures you can do to like add um, girth, but I don't really think that you can ever add any length to your penis. When I've gained and lost weight, you, you you can your penis looks bigger and smaller, but my dick has always been the same. And I'm not gonna say in this video how big it is. Look for my product when it comes out later this year. Um, was the size of your dick the reason you got into porn? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever injured any any of your partners? Um, thankfully, no, I have not. I'm I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't. I think it's because I'm a really gentle and considerate lover. Um, even when people have wanted me to hurt them, I haven't hurt them. I don't have it in me to be. Um, I mean, I can be aggressive and forceful and you know deliver that kind of like a punch, but. That's not going to someone who doesn't want it. I've never heard anyone. There hasn't been any accidents. There hasn't been anything. There hasn't been anything crazy. No one's went to the emergency room or had to see a doctor or anything like that. Um, what is your favorite position as a top? This doesn't really have anything to do with me being having a big dick, but I will answer that. I will make it about having a big dick. The bit, the easiest, I would say that most guys' favorite position, um, most gay guys' favorite position to um, bottom in is doggy style. And for me, my favorite that I, that for I find that guys, um, the best position for a bottom for to take my extra large penis is um, to sit on top of me and kind of be in control. And that's what most people like to do. They like to kind of like go slow, ease it in, um, be kind of in control of things. And that's kind of harder for me because it's hard for me to stay hard and I don't get as much friction and I can't get as much going and can't really do exactly what I want to do. And it takes a while, especially. So there are actually a lot of questions here. So there's definitely going to have to be a part two to this video. I'm already getting kind of like overwhelmed. Um, is having a big dick a burden? You know, it's, a blessing and a curse for sure. Um, when people, everyone knows that I have a big dick because I did porn. It's out there. Like if you start dating me, if you know of me, it's like it's like something that like comes with like the territory. Um, it make I, it's had boyfriends. It, I've had boyfriends where it's made them insecure and jealous because people are like kind of like chasing me for that, and it makes me kind of um, suspicious sometimes. But um, you know that is probably the more of the downside of. Um, the bittersweet part, it's not so much like that people can't take it or anything or can't do anything with it. Um, yeah, people who are attracted to it want to do something with it usually can. Um, um, I would say the biggest, um, obviously, and just like having having a big dick, people really, I, I feel like I rake in a lot more than someone who doesn't, you know, people want people like size not necessarily that it's they're restricted to only liking size but um it definitely doesn't hurt um i would say the 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 biggest downside to having a really big dick is probably the fact that i have a really big dick and it kind of inflates my ego i kind of rely on it too much and um like i've used it to make a living for a long time and yeah it's kind of like there's more to me than that and um i have to work extra hard to kind of like prove myself and i i even have to do that to myself to like look i have to challenge myself i can't just get by on using that all the time i have to do more you know so since it's getting so loud outside and i'm at about 10 minutes i'm going to go ahead and in this video there's going to be a part two of this video Go ahead and submit your questions, and I'll be happy to answer them in the next one, okay? Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that uh, this answers some of your curiosity.